guys, it's Jen. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, this is my um, project for the Simply Random Challenge for week four. So the props for week four were steampunk, toilet paper tube, wet embossed, tissue paper, ivory, and bling. So what I'm using here is an envelope, this pretty ivory envelope that I had. So I'm just going ahead and I have all kinds of little images you can see on the left, all my little um, steampunky vintagey images. So I'm just taking and uh, right now I am using these stencil masks and I'm just putting some ink, blotting some ink on, or sorry, uh, dabbing some ink on there to create the background of gears. I love the craft paper. Love that look. Oh, and these little stamps I had gotten from, uh, I think maybe it was Cloth Paper Scissors magazine. They had them as like a freebie when you get the magazine one time. And I have never used them, but they definitely look very steampunky. They look very like mechanical wings kind of thing. So I definitely wanted to use those. And I have a few, a few, um, a few people, characters that I thought might be poss possibilities to uh, work for this envelope. So I'm just aging it right now, doing the edges. Okay, so now I'm playing with the, the different uh, characters. As you can see, I've got all kinds of different, um, different little bits and pieces. I really wanted to work um, like a locomotive in there, a steam engine, because steampunk is all about steam and mechanical, things like that. So I've got one of those there and I've got some cool uh, ephemera I got from a book. I got a book, I believe it was the History of Canadian Railways. And so you'll see there's a bunch of ephemera like on the left there, you can see the little cards. Um, yeah, so I'll be using some of that. Uh, now this guy, I had a great idea, if I do say so myself. <laughs> um, I had an epoxy sticker, so I gave this guy a monocle. So that's why I ended up using him because he uh, he fit the monocle, the other guy didn't. And the wings still look good on him, so yeah. Now I just kind of lay down elements as I go. I'm gluing his little wings on so I can still kind of move him around, see where he wants to, uh, see where I want to put him. Oh, and here comes the tissue paper. It is vintage tissue paper, it's slightly yellowed, but it wasn't yellowed quite enough for me, so there I'm, I'm putting some of the brown ink on it. So then I just put the glue stick on, or put it on with the glue stick, and once you stick it, down with the glue stick, you can move it around. I was I scrunched it up with my fingers some to give it a little bit more texture. Now there's the toilet paper tube. So what I did for that was um, I didn't have um, my wet embossing gear. I packed all that away. So I just did regular stamping. So I just stamped some little cute Tim Holtz tickets on the toilet paper tube. It goes really nice with the craft paper and the overall feel there. So now I'm just taking different elements and kind of sticking them in here and there to see how they look. Aging some things a little bit further. A lot of this stuff just came out of my scrap bin. I love using for things like this, like little tiny bits and bobs. I love using things like that. So I'm building the background up and I really like that little like filigree decorative element on the left, upper left corner. I thought that was really cute. All right, so now I'm committing to gluing my guy down. There we go, a little bit of washi. Now I'm just moving some elements around to see what I like the best. So, so far we've got steampunk, obviously, uh, the toilet paper tubes in there, tissue paper, the wet embossed, which I just did rubber stamping, um, ivory envelope, and then I haven't got the bling in there yet, unless you want to count the epoxy sticker, but that's not really bling. So bling is the only thing I have left to add, so I'm just gluing these bits and pieces down. Oh, and I have this little brad. Um, you can see it here in a minute. I put it in the lower left hand corner. It is really cute. It's a little clock bread. So yeah, all I did was poke a hole in the envelope. Oh, there's my bling. They're little metal, little metal shapes, little metal stickers. They look very much like brads. They're actually metal, but they have little like foam back stickers on them. So that's my little brass bit of bling. Again, just 
different papers to uh, different little bits and pieces to fill in the spaces. Sometimes I'm very indecisive. <laughs> it's funny because like I've already glued stuff down, like I've committed to what I know I really like, but then sometimes you just go and like the next piece you just don't know what you want. And it takes a long time. So there, there I'm putting the brad in there. And I try very carefully not to poke through the back of the envelope, but that's exactly what I did. <laughs> it was hard to get that brad in there because it's such a big brad. So to get it, I wanted it, you know, down in the corner of the envelope. I couldn't be nice to myself and have it in the upper left corner. All right, so that was the front of the envelope. So now I'm also doing the back because this envelope is meant to be a journal embellishment. So you'll be tucking it in or putting it as a tip in, meaning you tape it into your journal. So I put the locomotive on there and then I had torn the edge of the uh, envelope flap. I tore that because I didn't want it to cover the, um, the locomotive. So then I decide <laughs> I'm gonna make that flap longer again because I'm gonna use this um, this cool little, it's like little typewriter keys, vintage typewriter keys. And I'm going to put those, there we go. So yeah, I glue that down on the flap, rub it down, make sure it's good. And then I just trim the sides and then I just left the bottom torn edge. Oh, and this is one of the images. It's like a vintage uh, program, vintage train program or schedule or what have you so i'm just gluing down some words from that and the little bingo bingo bits and bobs yeah so that's pretty much it um i had a lot of fun with this one i don't often work in steampunk definitely not so it was definitely a challenge but uh but yeah it was a lot of fun i'm glad i got that train in there because i really like that train great so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh go check out the uh, challenge i'll have the link in my uh, description below great thanks for watching and uh take care and have yourself a good day bye